Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Selena Pereira. I love makeup, but I'm from Sydney, Australia. Today's video is going to be on something that is to do with my lips because I have no lip color on. Reviewing the Stay Golden Glitter Lip Kits. Now I have a couple of them to try. I've got a few different colors. I've got the shade Galactica, I've got the shade Burlesque, and I've got the shade It's Coco. And I'm so excited to try these. These have been on Instagram and I've seen them. They look amazing. And I will leave on the screen some photos or some of the clips that I managed to be able to save of exactly how reflective and how glittery these are supposed to be. I also found when I was buying online that they also have this product called the Lit Lids Eye Dust Pigment. And again, I want to try that one out and see what it's like. I do already have some eyeshadow on, but I'll just slap it on top because more is more. And yeah, I'm really excited to get into this. So if you guys want to see exactly how the Stay Golden Cosmetic products work, then please keep on watching. Alright guys, so starting off, when I got the box, this is what came with the box, this um, poster that basically explains, um, and at the back it has basically the application. Now, you can throw this away because the application is on the um, lip kit itself, so don't worry about that too much. It's got here a promo code, which is Hey Love for 10% off your next order. I'm guessing that that's not just a unique code, so I'll leave a link down below. I don't know if you can use it or not, and that's obviously not commission or anything like that because I bought this myself that's literally just for ordering again so if you guys use it use it if you guys don't use it then that's cool too so basically this is supposed to be like a two-step system where basically I think there's like a gloss bonding agent and then there's the glitter on top now the claim with this is that they are kiss proof swim proof and turn up proof um, they're supposed to be cruelty free in terms of Tips just says to line your lips for a flawless finish, to use an all base makeup remover. Now, this is supposed to be non scratchy feeling because it is glitter. It's supposed to feel really nice and smooth and not feel like it's chunky. Again, we will see exactly what will happen. It does also say here that um, do not use on cracked skin and that excessive use can cause dry lips. So, I'm guessing that this will be like a really drying formula but we will see exactly what happens here. So you basically get um, each little kit um, comes with the gloss and the glitter. So the glitter is 3 grams and the gloss is 3.5 mils. Um, let me just have a look and just see online how much these are. This is an indie brand, so this you cannot get in any other stores except for their website. Now, the other thing that was kind of annoying as well about this product is that I saw it on Instagram and I wanted to buy it, but it was sold out all over their website and it literally took six months for them to come back into stock, which I think is a little bit excessive. I don't know if that's going to be the case from now on or if they've sorted their stuff out, but I guess we'll just have to see what happens. So the lip kits are $18. Now already from what I can see on the website, there are a few kits that are out of stock. So the burlesque, which is the one that's here in my hand, now that's out of stock. And then the lit lids are $12. And that's all in US. These are two grams in the little pigment. Now I've also seen this on the website while I'm looking here. They also sell the gloss bond separately. So for future use, if you've got plenty of glitter, but you only need the actual bond, um, they are... $10.50 each and they're the same size so you're looking at the 3.5 mil so yeah that gives you a bit of a rundown on the price and all that kind of stuff I think I want to start off with the most wearable color and then go on to the dark colors so I've got here the shade It's Cocoa which is like a it appears to be like a really nice brown like a chocolate brown shade there that comes in that little box you have a little brush that you can use to apply the glitter with you have the little gloss, little adhesive, and then you've got the little thing of glitter here. So I'm assuming you can also use this glitter on your eyes. I wouldn't say why not. I'm sure it's cosmetic grade glitter. It does say cosmetic glitter, and it does have all the ingredients in the back as well. So just check and see if you've got any allergies there. Now I will use the brush that it comes with just because I don't know what this gloss bond is like. So I want to, I don't want to ruin one of my brushes. So this is what the brush looks like here. It is like a little sponge tip applicator and then a normal little brush on the other side. So I'm going to start off with, I'm really kind of nervous for this, but it says here on the instructions to start with dry lips, apply the gloss bond to your parted lips one at a time. Once the gloss is clear, dampen the applicator and use it to pick up glitter. Gently pat onto lips to completely cover the gloss bond. I'm going to start with that. I'm going to start with this bond product. Okay. So it's got a different applicator. It's like a white color. So it kind of looks almost like lash glue. I'm going to try and... 
Oh, okay. Now the water, I, oh, this is sticky. Okay, the water is ready to go. So I'm gonna take the glitter. So now I've got the sponge tip oh, coated. And I'm just gonna hide over the glass hand. Now this is on, this is like a mess, I'm going to take the uh, brush on the other side and I'm going to dust it off. Alright, now that is done, having a close look on my lips you can see that obviously the gloss bond du did dry a little bit too quickly over here so I didn't get it totally perfect. Feeling wise I'm kind of scared to lick my lips because I'm worried that I'm going to like ingest the glitter. now. Rubbing my finger over the over it, some glitter is coming off, not a lot. I'm gonna just take the brush again and just try and get all the excess off. You do get glitter on your tongue. If you try to lick your lips, so I will just go in with another coat of the gloss one. I don't know if this is supposed to do, but I'm just gonna try it. See if it helps to kind of seal it all in. Okay, and I'm gonna just take some more of that in the areas that it didn't quite stick to. When you do it, I think you have to do one lip at a time. It's not sticky anymore, which is good. This is a weird kind of a product. I really don't know how I feel about this yet. I think I have to go into another color, try out a different technique, because I think that what I'm also might try and do is to apply like a liquid lip underneath or something that matches, just so I, if any skin does peek through, it's not as obvious. I think that's what I need to, especially for the darker shades. So I'm going to take this color off and go on with another one. Now I do want to also add, I'm trying to take this off. And it's true what they say, this will last anything. I do have a little bit coming off here, but a lot of it is not coming off. So I will need to use like an oil based remover for this. So that is definitely true. Now I finally managed to get all this off and it was not the easiest thing to take off. But what I found was the most um, foolproof way it was the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Any kind of a balm or oil based remover will work. I think that's the best way to take it off and that's the way they also recommend you remove it. Now I do have some glitter around my mouth which I don't think the camera is picking up on but I can definitely see it so if you wanted to use this and then take it off and put it on another lip I think that you would have a nightmare because you'll have glitter everywhere. Um, if you're using it for all night that means it's actually going to stay on all night so that could be a really good thing for you. So depending on what you're using it for would depend on whether it's good for you or not. So now I'm on to the next shade which is Burlesque which is this beautiful bright red shade. Now but what I want to do before I apply that is I want to try and applying a liquid lipstick first because I feel like base colour will just help to make sure that one if it's any glitter that I've missed that's not going to look so obvious and also just to make I guess ease of application. So I'm going to take, this is from Jeffree Star Cosmetic, it's the liquid lip in the shade Checkmate and I'm going to use that as my base colour for this red. Alright, now that I'm ready to go ahead, because this lip is basically dry, I'm going to take my gloss bond again, but I'm just going to apply it to the bottom lip, apply the glitter there, and then do the top lip separately. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the top lip. Alright guys, so that is the red shade Burlesque Down and I love the way that this looks. This is amazing. Alright, definitely what I can take from the first trial that I did with the first shade It's Coco is the base color underneath makes such a huge difference because I can see if I look super close that I've missed a couple of places but you really honestly cannot notice it whereas with the other shade you could definitely notice so definitely get a shade that is similar underneath um, it really just helps to disguise it and this has applied really nicely this time so 
that's the biggest thing. That and also use doing each individual like your bottom and your top lip separately. You can see on my shirt, but I still have a ton of fallout. That's just the nature of this kind of a product. This literally is just like putting lash glue on your lips, waiting for it to dry, and then putting a glitter on top. So I don't know if that's what the actual gloss bond is supposed to be, like a, a lash glue. It does smell like a lash glue, like it smells pretty off, but for me, I mean, it, do, it does dry down really quickly. It's only really while you're applying it. Once it's dried down, you actually don't really smell it at all. So I don't mind it too much. It does feel gritty, like if you were to lick your lips it would feel gritty and you'd probably get some glitter on your tongue, but it is cosmetic grade glitter again, so it's not going to hurt you or anything like that. I have a glitter on my tongue, I can see it. Not really a big deal, but it is definitely really fun if you're going to go out and do something really cool and fun. I still want to do the other shade Galactica, which looks like this, it's really screaming my name. But before I get into that, I do want to do the um, Lit Lid. So this is what it looks like here, it looks like a kind of diamond shaped component. The colour that I got was the colour Dior, and this is what the shade looks like here. It is a really pretty kind of gold-ish green. But basically this just says to apply an eye primer to your lids and then just apply it on top. So, this is my eyeshadow primer, which is the Urban Decay Primer Potion, the shade Eden. I'm just going to apply some of that onto my concealer brush. And I'm just going to go to town with this and just try not to get all over my lashes and just apply it just to the first part of my eye. So for that I'm going to take this brush here and I'm just going to take it on the brush and see how this goes onto the eye. Ooh! Ooh wow, that sticks. Okay, this is really cool. This looks awesome. Now this does have a bit more of a green tinge. Um, it's kind of weird. I would say it's probably more of like a duochrome where it's in some light, like I think directly on it looks like more of a green but then when I tilt my head back I see more gold so interesting there everything in gold yes please now this pigment if you are planning on wearing it I recommend doing it before your foundation because it will go everywhere I like it a lot this this lip and this these lids are oh, it did get all over my lashes but that's alright that's my fault because I wore lashes when I should have taken them off and then reapply them, but I was lazy. I will take the slip off and come back and we will do the last shade together. All right, guys, so now I'm on to my last color, which is the shade Galactica, which is this beautiful blackened holographic blue shade. So for the base color for this, I'm gonna use my Beauty Bakery Lip Whip, and this one is in the shade Space Cake, and it's this beautiful, literally dark metallic navy shade, and I love this color of lip, liquid lip. And these liquid lips are already very long lasting. They literally last through anything. And when I say anything, I mean anything. All right, so now that that is dry and there is glitter literally everywhere, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the um, base again. Alright guys, so I just went ahead and applied the rest of the glitter for this shade Galactica. Now I don't know what happened, but my camera just totally cut out the whole time that I was applying this. I've had this on for about half an hour now and it feels really cool. It's still going strong. It isn't irritating or doing anything weird. It actually feels really comfortable. If you were going to go in and start licking your lips, it would feel kind of a bit weird, so I definitely wouldn't recommend that, but I actually think it's a pretty cool product. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed. My final verdict is, I think these are really, really cool products. Definitely the Lit Lids are absolutely amazing. The uh, Glitter Lip Kits I think are also really cool. Now, do I think that you need to buy this particular kit? No, not really. So I think you can definitely get the gloss bond and then just get basically any glitter that you like as well would be really cool with this too. But I think it's awesome. I love it and I definitely can't wait to try it for when I go out next. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and leave me a comment down below on what you guys want to see next. For a full list of every single product I mentioned and used, please go to my description box down below along with all of my socials. Follow me on my other social media, you can go to Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, and Pinterest. That all is Selena J. Pereira. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until the next one, I love you guys. Mwah.